Hello everyone, welcome back to the sessions on DBMS. Today we are going to concentrate on nested and correlated queries. What is a nested query or a subquery? It is a subquery, a subquery is basically a SQL query which is nested inside a larger query. What do we mean by this? A query is after all you have seen that is a condition to extract certain data. When I want a extraction to be a part of another extraction, that means a outer query which will depend upon the results of an inner query, then such queries are called as subqueries or when we put them, generally what happens is in a where class of a select statement, I can write another select. Okay? Now, when I am doing repeating this, it becomes nested subqueries and by default one subquery inside your select becomes a simple subquery. Now, let us just see an example. For example, let me say my requirement is who has a salary greater than Jones. Now, in order to find out the members who have salary earning more than Jones, I should know what is the salary of Jones then salary of Jones becomes a subquery and the query to find all the employees who are earning more than him becomes the outer query. So, it is this outer and inner query concept which we call as subqueries. Let us just see the syntax. As I have told you, it is going to be a query inside another query. Now, this is known as your, this is known as the inner query. Okay, and this one becomes the outer query. Okay, so the subquery executes before the main query that is the outer query and the result of the subquery is used in the main query. In our earlier case, here I am finding the names of the employee from EMP where the salary is greater than select salary from employee where E name is equal to Jones, that is find the Jones salary here and use that salary value to check all the employees who are earning more than that salary. So, what is the basic guidelines for your uh, subqueries? Always enclose subqueries in parenthesis, place the subqueries on the right hand side of the operator of your where clause, do not add order by in the subquery and moreover, there are different types of subqueries that is single row and multi row. There are separate operators which has to be used with single row and separate operators which will be used with multi row. So, do not mix them or otherwise do not interchange them. Coming to the subqueries, we may have a subquery which results in a single row output. We may have subqueries which will result in multi rows or we may have subqueries which will return multiple columns. Let us see one by one. Let us look into single row subquery. Any query that returns me one single row as the output is called as a single row subquery and the operators like comparison operators will be used along with that equal to, greater than, less than, not equal to. Now, let me always, let me take this EMP and DEP ta table as the sample table or illustration table for illustrating all these subquery concepts. Okay. So, we have our regular EMP table which has got EMP number, name, job, uh, manager ID, salary and department number. Similarly, I have my department table with the department number and department name and this is the common field. Department number is a common field between the two tables. Now, let me try to find out the salary of employee whose like suppose you want to find out the name, job and salary of the employees whose salary is less than that of employee whose number is 7876. Okay? Now, when I want this, I need to run two queries. First query to find the salary of employee with employee number 7876, select sal from EMP where EMP number is 7876 and use that salary value in my next query where I am seeing the names of the employees and whose salary is less than 1100. Two queries. Now, this thing can be overcome using a subquery concept where the second query I am placing in my where condition. 
So, the salary of the employees whose number is 7876 becomes my sub query and my outer query will extract those records where the employee salaries is less than this salary. So, this is what is the concept of sub queries and this particular thing if you see returns a single row that is why we call it as a single row sub query. Just see let us see few more examples. One example here is I want to display the employee name who is having same job as 7369 and earning more than 7876. Now, there are two sub queries again. One query which says the job of 7369. I want to find the job of employee 7369 and my next query is whose salary should be more than salary of 7876. So, salary of 7876 is another sub query. I just combine the two using my logical uh, combination, logical operator and where I am saying job is equal to this and salary is more than this. So, these two are the sub queries which will whose result will be used for the outer query. Another example, display the details of employees who is earning the least salary. I want to find the group function or the aggregate operator. Now, first find what is the least salary. So, find the least salary from EMP table. Now, you find the names of the employees who are earning that salary. Let me assume that 800 is the least salary. How many employees are earning 800? So, that is what is going to give you the names of the employees earning 800 or otherwise least salary. Now, next I can even use the having clause along with my group by or otherwise along with my aggregate operators. Now, look at this example. List out the departments whose minimum salary is more than the least salary of department 20. First, you find the least salary of department 20. Look at this minimum salary of department 20. Now, I have supposed to group them by department number and the mini find the minimum salary of each department. That is select department number and minimum salary from EMP group by department number. My condition here is the minimum salary should be greater than the minimum salary of department 20. That is why here having minimum salary greater than <coughs> minimum salary of department 20. So, these are some of the examples of single row subqueries. Let us go for multiple row subqueries. Now, we know that whenever we run queries, many a times depending upon the output, we may have multiple rows. Now, say for example, I wanted to display the total salary of each department. There are three departments and your query will return you three uh, rows as the result. So, such subqueries are called as multi row subqueries. Now, when I have this regular greater than less than symbol will not work there because I cannot compare it with one data. There are multiple rows and I need to compare them with all of them. In such situation, the uh, multi row sub uh, operators like in, any and all will be used. In compares it is equal to any member in the list return rows that match any value in a list and all will return true only when all the values match with that. So, in such situation let us see some of the examples. Now, let me say in operator. In this it is going to be returning you true if comparison value contained in the list. Now, look at this. I am saying this find the employee whose salary is same as the minimum salaries of employees in the department. So, you are expected to find the minimum salary in each department and then check out the main query will be find the employees who are earning that salary. <coughs> it may be minimum salary is 800 from say department 10, but there may be another person in department 30 who is also earning 800. So, in such situation even those names will get included. So, select E name and salary from EMP where salary in select minimum sal from EMP group by department number. That means, each department's minimum salary becomes your uh, set elements of this particular sub query. So, it is going to be 
in. Next is display the employees whose salary is more than minimum salary of employees in any department. So, I am saying find the minimum salary of departments first, then the employees who are earning less than any one of those salaries, okay, more than any one of those salaries is eligible to be displayed in this particular list. Okay. So, select, <coughs> okay, it should be minimum salary there, the statement and the query does not match. Display the employees whose salary is more than the minimum salary of the employees in any department. First, you find minimum salary or in this case, let me change the query as maximum salary. Okay. Select minimum max of sal from EMP group by department number. So, which gives you multi row output and you are using that for the outer query. Now, when I say any, if there are three values here because we have three departments, this salary should be greater than any one of those salaries that is the requirement. All operator. Now, this is going to return me true values when the outer uh, extracted retrieved data matches with each and every one of these inner sub query all we are saying. So, here <coughs> display the employee details with salary less than those job who the job is manager. That means, he should not be the manager and his salary should be less than any of the managers. This is the request. So, when I am saying, so salary less than all salary of managers. First, you find the salaries of managers. So, the employee salary should be less than any of the manager salary and this is an additional requirement where I am just saying job is not equal to manager. He himself should not be the manager. So, that is the requirement. But remember, these are all with our multi row queries. Okay. The last type in sub queries is multiple column sub queries. Many a times it is not single column which is being taken, it is multiple columns which come out in a single row or multi rows. But when I am talking about multiple columns, even if the outer query has to compare those multiple values, multiple column values, then there is going to be separate style wherein I am just saying in the where clause, I try to give a list where job and salary as a pair, I should compare it with the output of this. To get this, so multiple column sub query. So, here the job and salary is compared with the output of this sub query because here also it is going to be job and salary. It may be same different uh, column names, but the data type should match. So, there can be pairwise or non-pairwise comparison. As of this, we are saying it is a pairwise comparison. Non-pairwise comparison, if I am saying, I will separately say, I am going to use this job with the query first, job with this query first and then I am going to say union salary with this query. That is going to be non-pairwise, but let us by default look into this pairwise comparison. So, what we are saying job and salary both are compared with the job and salary of the uh, sub query there. Okay. This is all about the sub queries. Now, there is another category of queries which is called as correlated queries. Now, correlated queries are like nested queries wherein for each output of the outer query, the inner query will run multiple times. It is like your nested for loops, wherever I say for i equal to 1 to 10 and inside that I say for j equal to 1 to 10. For every i value j will run 10 times. This is the same style which is called as correlated queries. It is used to affect the row by row processing. Each sub query is executed once for every row of the outer query. First what it will do? It will get the candidate row that is run the outer query, take the first row of the output there, compare it with the inner query that is execute this inner query using the candidate row value and then use these values from inner query 
to qualify the candidate row that is for every outer query. Look at this one row of the outer query this inner query will run that many times. So, if the output of the first query is going to be n and the uh, inner query will run n times for every row there or otherwise inner query will run for n every n rows there separately. Okay? Let us see an example that makes it clear. Find all the employees who make more than the average salary in their department. So, what is the outer query? You are finding the employee number and salary and department number. Now, say outer query displays one first takes the first row where department number is 10. Now, for department number 10, this select average salary from EMP where department number is 10 will run. So, all the department number 10 will be grouped and then the average salary will be found and the first row salary will be compared with this. Next, it takes up second row where the employee department is 30. Again for the department number 30, it will calculate the average salary of department 30 and then compare it. So, that means for every row of the outer query, the inner query will run, will get processed. I okay, will just give you another example. Here, display the employees, details of the employees whose salary is highest among all the employees. Now, how do I get this? You just find two tables. I, it is like a self join where I am using EMP table and getting the details of the employees whose salary is more than that of this salary. Outer query first row is taken. Assume that the salary is 800. Then it will run the inner query and it will find all those records where the salaries of employees are more than 800. So, one query it will return you the count. Now, here this particular thing where I am saying 1 equal to make sure that I get the highest salary because the highest salary is paid to one person and that is what I am checking with this count. For every row of the outer query you find all those salaries which is greater than that in the inner query. So, if that count is going to be 1 and that is going to be the highest salary, this is how the correlated queries run. Remember, sub queries run once for the outer query, the uh, runs once first before the in outer query and the value will be used in the outer query. Whereas, in a correlated sub query, for each row of the outer query, the inner query will run as many times. Thank you. These are all going to be the part of your practical. So, we will see more and more exercises and assignment in your practical portion in the desolator. So, this is one more which is just with the exist operator. So, exist operator is going to give us return as true value based on whether the value is there or not. So, in this particular case look at this select here the basic thing is that it need not compare each and every row. It just has to see if there is one match that is enough for it. If there is look at this find the employees who have at least one person reporting to them. If you find if you take one outer query you get an EMP number and just check whether he is the manager. If his number is there in this particular inner query that means he is a manager there is one person reporting to him enough. If you get one manager it is enough one person who is reporting to him it is enough. So, this is what is exist similarly I can go for not exist. The sub queries can also be used with your update and delete as well. But remember exist and uh, uh, just says that if at least one of the match is found it is enough for it not exist says none of them should match. Thank you guys. See you in my next session.